Welcome to an impromptu video, something that would normally be on Kev Reviews and not the video I intended on releasing tonight, but I'm going to be talking about the lower headset cup on the new Mongoose Ardor X1. And the reason that I'm doing this impromptu is because I've had so many people, I don't know if people are all of a sudden receiving a wave of shipments of these bikes, but in the last 24 hours, maybe 24 to 48 hours, I've had so many people email me, message me, ask me, hey, what is it with this lower headset cup because it's not standard? And I keep hearing that word, and I want to do a clarification here because this is important. This is standard. It's a standard lower headset cup. As a matter of fact, I have one right here. Here is a RISC lower headset cup. I'll put a link to this down in the description. And it's this RISC brand that I used on this. I want to show you. This is, you can see, a 28.6 slash 44. And what that is, that's the upper part. Probably can't see that in the thing. By the way, there's a lot covered up here because there's things I don't want you to see yet that will be revealed within the next few days here on the Mongoose Ardor. I'm not even calling this a project bike yet. This is total experimental test bed stuff. I'm trying out some very different things. So you'll see that coming very soon. But this is the headset, that 28.6 slash 44, that's the upper part of the headset because this has it all. Here's the whole kit. There is a lot of stuff in here. From the stem cap to a star nut to the upper headset, the crush washer, a bearing there, and you can see this is a sealed bearing, if I get my hand out of the way. The lower headset cup, and even more I want to talk about. Just a second, let me lay this off to the side. But this is 28.6 slash 44, the upper dash 55. That 55 is this lower. And everyone is saying this isn't standard, and I'm afraid that maybe there was some miscommunication on my part. I made that video on Kev Reviews, by the way. You should subscribe to that channel if you haven't already. I made a video where I talked about this lower headset cup, and I said it was different. I don't recall saying it wasn't standard because 55 millimeter is a 44-55 is a standard. This is a common headset. It's not as common as the S5640, but it's common. So this is just different. And let me grab this lower headset cup out of this kit and I'll show you what we're talking about here. This is bearing out. This is the lower headset cup and if I were to caliper this you would see this is 55 millimeters from the inside walls here what presses up into this headset into the head tube because what you're seeing this black ridge here that is this lower cup. As a matter of fact this exact same brand is what's in the ardor here and that's just pressed up in there and inside this sitting here is this a sealed bearing now, that's a big deal because a good quality sealed bearing is what you want in a headset see it just snaps in there and I can whoop, coming out there and I can roll my hand around on this and see that would move as I steered but I wanted to just cover that a a 55 millimeter, it doesn't matter. 55, 56 millimeter, they both work with a tapered fork if you use the new cup. And this one is a sealed bearing for a tapered fork. Here is the crown race that would go on the fork. And what that does is if my fingers here are the fork tube, steerer tube, this sits down in there and the taper is down here. You can see this says for tapered fork and that would go up in here and rest on this bearing and allow it see I can move there how easily that moves so that's fine and that's a standard a 55 millimeter is a standard but I want to tell you something special about these risk headsets I showed you that this came with a lot of other stuff grab the stuff here Again, stem cap, even a star nut, the crush washer, the complete upper headset as I just showed, but there's something else that this kit comes with. And why I'm kind of hyped on this, because it's only like 18 bucks on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. But along with this crown race, I mean, it tells you what it is 
four tapered fork. There's look at this. I get again it to come out. There's another one that's in here. Crown race or standard fork. Now this is something I haven't had before and it's going to be of great use to me because you know I regularly switch and swap forks all the time on these heads on these headsets. As a matter of fact, Project Axum 21 is an amazingly great bike by the way, but Project Axum 21 I took some of the parts off Project Axum 2020 and converted them over to Project Axum 21 and I had to use a new fork in that head tube because I already had it adapted to a tapered steer. If I would have used this, I could have adapted it and had either straight or tapered my choice, fork wise. So how awesome is that? And I just realized that I was talking with this pressed into here and this like this. So just for clarification, if using a standard fork, a straight steer fork I would have this onto the fork and that just goes right in there as it's in place so just so we know everything clarified there but this headset works for either big great news there it also helps clarify and understand that this in this Arter Arter X1 is a standard headset and I'll zoom in here I've got this one a little loose just so you can see this bearing got it loose and you're seeing if I can press this down you're gonna be able to see get this bearing out just a little bit you'll see what I'm talking about here that's the bearing seated up into this crown race or excuse me into this lower headset cup and the crown race on the fork and all that up in the head tube here this tapered head tube so there you go I really hope this helps out Again, I'm making this, this isn't going to be a big draw video. Normally I would put this on Kev Reviews, but so many people have asked me about this. And because of that, I thought I would make this video tonight to show you, because apparently people are starting to get their arters, and that's good. Thank you so much for watching Kev Central. If I've talked about Kev Reviews. If you don't know about that channel, I hope you head over that way. And also, I'm going to be launching a third channel soon with something kind of a segue from bikes into other stuff that still has to do with bikes a little bit a little bit of confusion and things I'm talking about legalities stuff like that on a different channel that will be coming soon as soon as I come up with a good name but I hope this helps you out and I will be having so many more new videos another spurt I've, I've been doing that lately I'll go for five days not releasing a video and then do four or five videos right in a row well you're about to have another batch of videos drop so make sure you're subscri subscribed came to speak make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell active so you don't miss those thank you so much and stay tuned also because i'll be unveiling this experimental form of the mongoose ardor my take on it or at least some testing to show what can be possible with the ardor very 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 soon weather permitting still got to get some filming done because rain we've had two weeks of it but thanks for watching Kev Central. I hope you have a great day.